Last time on Wonder Quest. Stampede! Yes? No, Stampede! Oh, right, okay, I see. Um, we better run! Hey guys, and welcome back to Wonder Quest. Sorry, that was just probably one of my favorite openings ever uh, in the Wonder Quest episode. It is really, really, really cool. Okay, anyway, so let's get on with episode 7's map review now, uh, or guide, or tour. Now, there is a lot, lot, lot happening in the map, as you saw in the Wonder Quest episode. Okay, so let us get straight to it. Okay, so today's path um, is going to be the iron ore path. Okay, so remember, if you see iron ore on the ground, this is the path we're going to be taking. So episode 7 is the iron ore path. Okay, so we've just got one extra thing here. Episode 7, go to the tree testing area and follow the iron ore. Okay, so this is our TP room or shortcut room. And then we go to the T. The, the tree testing area. Now, if you remember from episode 6, this is where they just tested the trees. Um, and then this is also the setup for where all of those rabbits attacked. Okay, so it would be this one over here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so this is all of the rabbits, the bad rabbits that was attacking them when and they were running away. So let me just quickly remove all of the rabbits. Okay, cool. So we find following the, uh, the actual iron ore path. Now, this is quite a run. Okay, so I have given you the option to go uh, to go a shortcut to Stacy's farm uh, if you don't want to run. But I mean, come on, it's fun if you want to run. I'm going to run this, but I am going to fast forward a bit. Um, but if you can, I've also now started adding going back to Keen's house so you can actually, um, you know, go back to the, uh, the TP room. Okay, so let's just really do this run. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I forgot I was speaking like that. Okay, right, so here we are on Stacy's farm. Now, uh, very, very, very important. Over here, I've got Stacy's farm control. Now, there's a lot, as I said, happening in Stacy's farm. Okay, so as you can see, I've got to actually reset the farm to be... Uh, as the farm should normally be but if we um, just climb up this tree over here okay we first of all over here we've got the story path which Stampy and Keen meet Stacy Stampy and Keen build wall uh, race to the bees shop in Wonderburg return with the bees and Barnaby and bees grow the crops okay so first off um, this is Stacy's destroyed crop so if we just set it up over there you'll see that this is now uh, the way we started the episode okay uh, we then have Stampy and Keen builds the wall. So if we hit this button, you'll see that there's the wall that they've built. Okay. Oh, 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 no, don't go there. And then we've got Stacy's full crop. So if we just do this again, we can have the full crops. Now I'm going to leave that on there for a moment. Now remove all bees, rabbits, and items on the ground. So this will just kind of clean up and clear any items. Now you do need to do this from time to time because this episode will cause your computer to lag. Um, it's a horrifically uh, heavy episode. Okay, um, then we've got Bonnaby's seeds drop on. So it's very important that you turn this on and off as well. So uh, if we turn it on when Bonnaby runs around, he will drop seeds. You can then turn that off as well. And then we can also summon Bonnaby, which we will do uh, in a moment. Uh, you can TP back to Keen's house. And then we've got spawn rabbits. Now this is what I'm going to do over here. I'm going to hit this button. And it's just going to spawn the rabbits. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down there and actually show you guys what these rabbits do when they run around. Okay, so this is why the rabbits are so dangerous to Stacy's crops. Because as you can see, they just eat the crops. And there you can see they're eating the melons as well. Um, oh, they love a bit of melon. Um, okay, they're not partial to pumpkin. Come on, is anybody going to go into the, uh, the carrot patch? Go in there. Nope. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. So now if we spawn Barnaby, so let's just go back here and spawn. Oops, I left it open. Let's close that up. If we now spawn Barnaby, okay, summon Barnaby, you'll see that Barnaby will actually start chasing the rabbits, okay, which is actually also pretty cool. You'll see Barnaby doesn't destroy crops, but the moment the rabbits <laughs> land on the crops, they just love to munch a bit of crops. 
Oh, there we go. In the rabbit patch. There's the, there's, sorry, there's the carrot patch. That other one was potatoes. Oh, look at them go. Oh, they love the carrots. They really love the carrots. Okay, and they love a bit of melon. Right, okay, so this is this is pretty, pretty cool. So now if I do this, this will clear all of the rabbits and all of the crops that's been uh, dropping. So let's just go back to uh, destroyed crops. The next thing, uh, they then decided to go and get a bag of bees. Now if you follow the iron path, you'll see the iron path leads you up to the horse stable. Now what I've done is, let's get rid of that. I've actually said, uh, given you a couple of horses you can summon. You can summon Keen's horse, you can summon uh, a Stampy's horse. So let's just ride, uh, you can summon a, let's summon a very light brown horse. Um, okay, so it will be in here. There we go. So now I am on a horse. And now they ran a special race we cr I created for them. Now, once again, it's over here. We've got a sign that says ride a horse to the bee shop by following the iron ore path or TP to the bee shop. So once again, you can just, you know, TP uh, directly to the bee shop. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to fast forward as I'm riding. Right. And let's go. And there we go. Woo, we won. Okay, <laughs> not that I ran against anybody. Um, okay, so let's just quickly get off the horse. Let's just, uh, yeah. So this is Charlie Tan's B Depot. Now there's nothing special really about it except that it is uh, filled with little bees. Okay, now what you need to do is go around the back here. Okay, very important. It says give a bag of bees to players. So we're going to grab a bag of bees. Now, if you throw this bag of bees on the ground, it is going to spawn bees. Okay, as you can see, there we go. There's all of the bees. Um, and then the bag will eventually disappear. So once again, this has a potential to cause a lot of problems. Okay, so just grab a bag or two. We'll be taking that back to Stacy's, Stacy's farm. Okay, now just if you just follow this iron path again, you'll see that it also leads into this area over here. Now, what this does, this just changes Charlie Tan's B depot into Charlie Tan's spaceship depot. So if we hit this button, you will see right before our eyes, this gets changed into Charlie Tan's spaceship shop with special door that leads down to the spaceships and all of that and if you go back again so if you do have any troubles with bees or it slows down change it into Charlie Tan's spaceship depot and it will just get rid of the bees so if we click Charlie Tan's bee dep depot you'll see that it will now change in front of our eyes again and you'll see we now have little bees everywhere little bags and all kinds of cool stuff Okay, uh, now you can take the horse back again, but you'll see I've also got uh, uh, TP to Stasis Farm. Now, I've actually combined the spaceship building episode with this, so no, you can do either one. So I'm now just going to go back, and we're back on Stacy's Farm. Okay, now this is kind of where Barnaby and the bees come into play. So if you just go back and s turn on, uh, the Barnaby drops the seed clock. Okay, so that's turned on. And I'm going to summon a Barnaby. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to summon a couple, just so that we can get this all like fast forwarded. Now you'll see that they are dropping seeds. Okay, so if I just spawn a rabbit, as as Barnabies are running, you'll see that they drop the seeds, and then the seeds start start growing. And it only happen, happens if it drops on. Uh, hey, come back, Barnabies! Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, this way, this way. Anyway, as you saw that the Barnabies now drop the seeds and as the seed lands, it then actually starts growing these or starts growing the crops. Now what the bees do, so if we drop the bag of bees, you'll see that the moment the bee flies over these crops, they will fully grow. Okay, let's see if I can drop another. Oh, there we go. There we go. And look at the bees growing the crops. So now if we summon a couple of Barnabies, we actually have a very, very little nice ecosystem going on. So let me just summon a few more of these Barnabies. Okay. Um, and then let's just summon a few more bees. Let's summon a few more bees. There we go. And you'll see the crops grow as as the bees fly over it and uh, as the Barnabies walk over plowed land. Okay, there we go. 
But as you can see, this does get dangerous because it can really slow down your machine. And that is why I have the special one built in here that says remove all rabbits and bees, rabbits and items on the ground. So let's just remove them all. Okay, so we've just got rid of all the bees. But that is basically the main idea behind it all. Just make sure to, uh, so let's just quickly do more bees while these barnabies are here. Uh, let's see if we can maybe put a rabbit over on there. See if the barnabies go for it. Go on. There's, you're going to let the rabbit escape. Okay, let's put another rabbit over here. Okay, so now we can just plant more seeds. Uh, and then just drop some bees on it while we add it. Woo, and it grows. Okay, excellent. So it's a very, very nice little ecosystem we actually got going here. Okay. Right, cool. Guys, so that really um, is it. And then the episode ends where uh, Keen and uh, Stampy, or Stampy and Keen, they then get a nice new bag of seeds to grow a giant tree in the next episode. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Once again, the map is up for download in the description, so do check it out. And uh, yeah, as always, I will check you all later.